Hey everybody, it's Kyle here. Today we're diving into something that has been making waves across the European Union, the final agreement on the EU digital identity wallets. This is a big deal, and it's got implications for privacy, security, and how we interact with the digital world. So let's break that down. So what's happening? Well, the EU just expanded the scope of regulations for digital identity. This means every European will have access to a digital wallet that can do a lot more than just hold virtual cash. We're talking about a single digital ID that can open bank accounts, store your driver's license, and even manage your healthcare services. Now here's the good. Imagine the convenience. No more carrying around a bunch of cards, no more forgotten passwords, Everything you need is in one place, protected by EU law. Plus, it's got a dashboard for you to monitor transactions and report any privacy violations. And the best part, it's free for personal use. Now here's the concerns. Here's why it gets a bit tricky. With all of our data in one place, what happens if there's a breach? And we've got to ask, do we really want big companies like Facebook and Google to mandate this as the only way to log in. <clears throat> so where can we find the balance? What's the balance? We, we need to find the balance between convenience and security. The EU is promising both, but as we all know, the devil is in the details. So what do you think? Is the EU digital identity wallet a step forward uh, a step towards a more integrated digital future or is it a potential privacy nightmare if you guys want to let me know let me in the comments below let me know what <laughs> let me know in the comments below um, I want to hear what you guys talk about uh, I'm gonna be uploading a video on rumble later so uh, yeah I hope to see you guys there and take care thanks